Hey there guys, uh, yeah I'm outside and just enjoying the nice weather, it's still a little cold, sun came out and uh, just out here just getting some fresh air. But uh, today guys I want to talk about, you know, um, speakers, okay, um, vintage speakers, good speakers, speakers that you will have that you will pay less money and you can have a good quality of speakers there's many brands there's many good speakers out there it's from Rand, Sansui, Akai, Sony, um, Bose, uh, Fisher um, many many different brands of speakers out there out there and to me guys as a collector I you know I have different speakers and my speakers guys um, I do have Pioneer forget to mention Pioneers which I always forget you know mentioning Pioneers I do have Pioneer speakers and they sound amazing okay um, the bigger the better um, 10 inch 12 inch higher the better the heavier and the thicker you know the the, the width if you look like side view you will see that is wide and thick and heavy those are the tips when you want to get a good speakers okay and the more tweeters the more you know better and uh, my pioneers has three tweeters two tweeters and one mid and the woofer and my sansui has three tweeters one mid and one big woofer um, these are a bit quite expensive if you buy it on ebay and it will charge you more it's because they will ship it to your place and they will charge you for the shipping and handling um, the best thing to buy speakers guys if you go to um, facebook market to uh, offer up and you can download the apps from your cell phone and you can um, check it out who's selling speakers you know um, go to flea market or if you're lucky maybe one day you go to like garage sale and there's some owners selling speakers these are the good ways how to find those good speakers that you will not pay for more money I've been uh, doing this for years and my experience guys I have done a good job because I buy these speakers for a low cost you know a low price uh, uh, good speakers um, Japan made these are you know um, good speakers when you buy speakers guys look for Japan and they do build good speakers and not only speakers guys they build stereos in general from turntable to equalizer to uh, to um, receivers to amplifiers to speakers japan made guys is good and european made is good bmw is good um, other brands from europe and you know other speakers like modern ones are good but they, they cost more money they're thousands of money uh, modern ones are more expensive than the vintage ones but me as a collector guys I like the vintage stereos from receivers to amplifiers to speakers to turntables I like those wooden um, wooden case wooden cabinets and I do have a JVC black wood cabinet and I do have some stereos that me and my uncle build uh, cabinets for my stereo receivers and amplifiers which is the case okay and I would say if you buy those already made case for Marantz it costs more money on eBay it's because it's original it's 100% flawless how they build and make it and that is why they are expensive 
but back to the speakers guys like i said you know you can always look around and you can watch youtube and learn um, which one is better and watch the videos you know because they they put videos in youtube in their youtube channels and you can always watch um, from anything okay so you can type in the brands and whatever uh, topic that you wanted to see like speakers or receivers you name it and it's there in youtube so i do have a bunch of stereo receivers and amplifiers um you can see my previous videos and i do have different types of receivers that i film and post it in my youtube channel so i can share it with you guys out there and enjoy you know about the vintage studios um, I started when I was a kid filming um, not filming but like learning about studios from my father because my father has a turntable back then which is the cabinet that you pull up and then the turntable players there and the vinyl records are there inside and when he goes to work I do open the speakers and mess around with those turntables even my father knows when he comes home that somebody touches his stuff and he knows that it's me so that's how i learned and i started messing with the stereos and I, I, that's how i started um liking the stereos um, vintage special so this you know i become a collector from my father because he has turntables and vinyl records and until now guys uh I've been st still looking for good receivers out there. They are not easy to find, guys. It takes me years to, to have the stereo receivers that I have. Um, you can't just really see them um, right away. They are hard to come by nowadays because people are, you know, still keeping those stereos. They don't want to sell it because they know that it's good. They know that it's, you know, uh, vintage and they keep it for different reasons maybe one day many you know many years that he's been keeping it and then now he want to sell it so it costs more money especially Moran's guys Sansui pioneers they cost money okay Moran's it's known as popular and when maybe 20 30 20 50 when you sell those Moran's I guarantee you guys it's, the price will go up you know so Today it's already the price of the Morans are already high and then years and years and years they go up because they're vintage. It doesn't mean because they're vintage the price doesn't go up, it goes down. No, it goes up, up and up and up. And a lot of people can't, you know, um, really pay for that price. Um, they have to save money first, they have to work hard, they have to, you know, um, save and um, make more money and that's the time they can afford to buy the Morantz you know especially the four number the four digit numbers model of Morantz because three numbers still okay guys it's like a couple hundreds those are the you know back then back then models but when it starts for when the models of Morantz um, has four digit numbers then that costs money okay so it's all about the models it's all about the numbers and you can have Morantz you know a cheap Morantz and like you know the model from I don't know a um, long time and three digit numbers and you can buy buy it for a couple hundreds and it's not heavy for your pocket but when it starts four numbers that is pricey I do have a Morantz 4430 it's four digits numbers and it costs money so it's about seven hundred dollars plus tax or um, and, and shipping and handling so I can probably charge you close to a thousand dollars for that so each year guys when you have those vintage the longer years the more years comes and the price keeps going up so that's how it is it's the same it's the same thing with vintage cars when you sell those 10 years 20 years from now and the price will, will really go up so the inflation today guys the economy 
when they sell the stereos on eBay, they want to double their price because everything is expensive now. When the gas goes up, everything goes up. So the sellers, they want to sell this vintage. And when they know that it's vintage and it's hard to find, and it's only like a couple of people that they're selling in eBay, because he's going to check in eBay how many people are selling the same model like what he has. So when he sees those, like only two vintage Morans, and he's going to fear the price. He's going to, you know, uh, level the price, the same price, or could be more. And that's how it works in eBay. So they make more money plus the shipping. They will charge more money. You know, doesn't mean because they charge 120. It doesn't mean it's 120 for the shipping and handling. It could be a hundred dollars, and the 20 bucks is their pocket. So you gotta watch those sellers, guys, because they're very slick, and they know how to make money. And for the buyers, guys, they don't have a choice. You know, you don't have a choice. If you want the merchandise, if you want that Morans 4430 or the highest or the, the newer models you got have, you're gonna have to pay for that price and you don't have a choice so either you like it or not so you have to pay and that's how they make money that's why those sellers in, in eBay guys they sell different types of merchandise they make money there because they're make they're, they're getting the profit they're making profit and they don't feel bad for the people for the buyers that is why i don't like to buy in ebay that much you know i'd rather buy it from the stores or flea market and i would not pay for the shipping or for taxes and that's how i do it so that is why i save money so buying speakers guys like i said study go to youtube watch the videos learn google it and don't just buy it you know because you like it you gotta know exactly which one you like because they are expensive when you buy um, good speakers you know but some other places or flea market they will just let it go and you can be lucky if you get it for 30 bucks 40 bucks 50 bucks and that's still good money even though if it's 80 bucks or 100 bucks because the speakers in ebay guys they're like a couple hundreds and shipping so you probably spend like three to four hundred dollars so which is still you save money buying it from flea market or garage sale or marketplace on facebook or offer up so these are the places that you can buy your stereos you no know, cost a lot of money so i hope you guys uh, like this video i hope i help the the new beginners out there you know building um, stereos vintage stereos they want to collect stereos and uh, I hope they I can I help them how to save money from buying good stereos so guys thanks for watching and I will see you again next time so hit the subscribers and hit all so you will get a notification every time I upload a new video so guys beautiful out here just enjoying and relaxing and I will see you again next time with my new video so for now say Ciao, ciao.